I would say um, I have a tick probably every three to five seconds. I'm always ticking away, <laughs> you know. Sure. Okay. Tourette syndrome is basically a neurological disorder. So I think a lot of people think of it as like an illness or you're like, you're like a little like uh, crazy in the head, but um, it's really not, you know, it's uh, something my brain is telling my body to do. When I first um, noticed uh, something was different about me than um, normal kids, uh, I would say it started around five or six years old. My fr actually, my first tick was eye movement, so I would roll my eyes. You know, so I would blink my eyes, I would make a sound like that, and uh, if I didn't make the sound or roll my eyes, you know, uh, there'd be a lot of tension, and, 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 and uh, it would make me very, like, um, angry, and, like, if I didn't let the tension out or tick out. Some kids just asked me, you know, why are you making that sound? When I was younger, <laughs> you know, I didn't really know what that meant. I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just doing it because it feels good, you know? It relieves tension, <laughs> you know, uh, in my brain and my body. Just growing up, it was, it was weird, you know? I, I, uh, I was just always different. I never really met another kid that had like full blown threats like I did. So it was, it was different. Um, I think about eighth grade. Um, started noticing him, his his just attitude in general changing. Um, he just seemed very. He, he was very quiet, but he would also lash out very easily if he got him mad. He was just getting more more angry holding it in, bottling it up inside. Um, and it was just eating at him. He always kept to himself. He was always he was always nice, polite, mannerly, very athletic. Um, even in uh, elementary school, he did like a Marine Corps camp. And uh, I think at the age of like nine, he could do a standing long jump seven foot three. So he's got a plaque for it and everything. So. Back then I had like eight or nine different ticks and it was like trying to hold them in all day at school not to bother anybody, you know, it's just, I actually would hold most of them in, um, in class that I had, I had control over most, but it's the feeling like the urge and the, the tension that you can't release in a classroom because I don't, I didn't really want to bother anybody. I was always just drained, you know, I couldn't focus on doing my work, so it was difficult. By the time I got to 10th grade, I only got past the first semester. And um, I basically was having panic attacks. You know, I couldn't sit in class anymore. I was sweating. My heartbeat was beating really fast. I was getting like vertigo, like dizzy. You know, I just couldn't sit still. You know, I felt like I was just trapped inside my body and I just had to get some rest for a couple weeks. Um, my parents made the decision to withdraw me from school and put me in a cyber charter school. So. I never quit anything in my life. Uh, every sport I joined, every, everything I did in my life, I finished. When I dropped out of public school, it was like I quit something. And um, that made me feel like a failure, you know, because I wasn't strong enough to deal with my difficulties at the time. The minute I came out of um, public school to cyber charter school, I was able to like rest and, um, you know, I was able to- Be himself, to be himself at home so he can, he can let the ticks out and just, you know, just do his thing, just be normal. My mental health wasn't good at the time, so I was able to rest, um, become an, a normal happy Nick again, like I was when I was a kid. And uh, I was able to just be kid with Tourette's, you know, <laughs> the happy kid with Tourette's, you know, I was able to um, not have to hide myself, like just let, let my ticks out. And um, I was just a happier me, you know. I'm able to learn, do my work, let my ticks out, do whatever I have to do, and you know, get good grades. You know, that's that's what I wanted in life. I wanted to graduate high school like a normal kid, and uh, cyber charter school really made that possible for me. So it was good. If it wasn't for cyber charter school, I wouldn't have graduated. Gora just really helped him adapt. 
and it also allowed him time, um, more time for himself, um, for something that he discovered with jujitsu. I really had never met anybody with Tourette's. I think my exposure was like TV, like comedy and whatnot. Um, and obviously that, that's not really the case. It's not just like cuss words that come out. You know, there's like ticks that are involved, that are involuntary. And um, when I met him, I mean, I think I could pick up on it, but he's a pretty normal kid. I think he was doing his best to keep him in when he first met me. And that's when I was like, be who you are. Like, we're not going to judge you. We all work really hard. I mean, the kid's an ama amazing athlete, an amazing jiu-jitsu partner, trainer. Um, he keeps me earnest. Like, we, we have really strong, hard roles all the time. And, um, you know, I want him to be himself when he's here. I want him to feel comfortable when he's here. Um, if he spends most of his day out there holding his ticks in, I prefer him not to waste that energy here. I mean, we're already putting out tremendous amount of energy to do what we do in the community that we do it. So um, I just want him to be himself, you know, and it's part of him, it's part of who he is. I know um, it's, it's just gotta be exhausting when he tw ticks like 20,000 times a day. So if he can just not spend all that energy holding it in, then, then that's what I would prefer. Every time I do jujitsu, like after, the benefits of it, my ticks aren't as bad, I feel accomplished. Um, my anxiety and like depressive state just decrease, you know, so much. It's, you know, the benefits of jujitsu is like a natural um, medication that, you know, basically for me, I don't need medicine because of jujitsu. So that's, it's like my medicine. <laughs> so it's awesome. So when you're like demonstrating, it's kind of like a dance. You need the demonstration partner to be able to work at a certain level that still allows you to slowly go through the technique. Um, and that's really difficult to find the right type of people to do that. And Nick's very good at kind of knowing exactly where I need him to be, when I need him to be, to be able to explain the situation, which shows he knows the inner workings of that technique. It's just he's one of the few guys that I can really trust to make the technique look proficient. Belt, he clears it. I hop a lot of pressure forward on him here. Okay? Hop. Control. I don't want to come off as the person who's like, oh, i never seen it. What are you talking about? I only see Nick. When he's here and he's training, nobody's like, oh, that's that funny kid with Tourette's. They're the, that's the kid that you don't want to make eye contact with during role selection because you just don't want to have to fight him. You wait until he grapples a 300 pound guy to hopefully get him when he's tired. That's what it's like rolling with Nick. That's what it's like interacting with him. A great student and somebody that's going to push me to be better as a practitioner, as, as a teacher, because he's, you know, he's nipping at my heels. And like, if I'm 33, he's going to be 34, he's 20, this is going to tip. It doesn't hold him back, doesn't hold me back. And when you're training with him, that's the only thing you think about is how many times am I going to get tapped? about cyber school and I didn't know much about it before but then I was I was thankful I was so thankful that he had cyber school because I don't think Nick would have graduated at the, the way he was going he even went to his graduation cap and gown I told him he had to if he could he should do it and he did 
Uh, I feel amazing. Getting brown belt was a long time coming, about five and a half years. Dedicated my life to jiu-jitsu, so I'm very happy. <laughs> Nick Han is the man. <laughs> <laughs>